Alrighty, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a wonderful day. It is Boxing Day for me currently as we speak. I had a yeah, pretty decent Christmas. A quiet, did honestly a quiet one, and I'm very happy to report it was a quiet one. Sometimes like this time of year, it can be like a little bit emotionally draining for some people, and I'm definitely maybe one of them. Um, I just want to say before we get kicking off into things, we're playing a little bit of Yaks today. I don't think I've played Yaks so far on um. Wait, the Maui guy not like wearing any spells? What happened, my friend? Um, yeah, I I want to get before we get into things, right? I um, yeah, I want to thank everybody for all the kind things on the Christmas Day video because okay, here's the thing. It is um a weird one that I'm I'm. This is why I'm thanking people, but um usually. Over the last number of years since I like kind of started the, I don't want to say like tradition of uh, making these videos. Oh my god. Okay, if I go down, that's fine. I, since I started the tradition of making those videos where I just like play a game for a couple of hours and just chat and you know, whatever. Uh, the last like number of years, because we've been kind of like in a post pandemic world, a lot of it has been people. Um, Ooh, hold up. I might be able to win this. If I stand here, then we can show. It's it's incredible. A lot of the comments have been, uh, you know, people being like, I can't see my family. Like, I maybe they, maybe they appreciate this. Um, all that kind of stuff. People being like, hey, thank you for, you know what? Maybe I go tank. Why not? Um, oh, my bro went Inferno Conduit as well. Same. So, having, you know, sorry, my brain is like a bit fried. Okay, like, sorry, I haven't recorded a couple days. My brain is fried. I'm sorry. And also, uh, you know, you probably didn't know this as well. Also, don't talk about the legalizers T-shirt. But also, this, I had a, like a bunch of critical errors, and I had to like quickly try and restart the computer and all this kind of jazz before this game. Nobody mentioned that somebody was loading on a hamster, and they should have because it was me. Um. But yeah, like all the comments are like, "Hey, I don't need it. I don't need the video this year. I don't need it. Like, I'm, I got to see my family or I got to spend time, and like that is such a feels good, man. Like nobody, I listen. I'm, I'm here for a rainy day when you need me. But like, I'm, it's, I, I'm very happy to be like, you know what? Usually I'd be like, hey, watch the video, man. But this time around, I'm like, this time around, I'm quite happy to be here. Oh my god, I got beat by." Yumi somehow? What, what did I die to? <laughs> is it Yumi Quantum Computing? I mean, it's a, it's a win, right? There's no way we don't win this. We got Infernal Conduit burning and burning and burning. Oh. We actually lost. I didn't expect that. That Yumi was tankier than I would have ever imagined. But yeah. No, that's it. That's it for like the gushing. <clears throat> I'm excited to get into next year, but I don't quite know why yet. We'll figure it out. We, we go like definitely hardcore merch rides here. We got a lot of magic damage coming off this. We got Lulu magic damage, Cogmo magic damage. Obviously, Kane, not so much. But Yumi, C. And then we got, I mean, Briar, I don't really care about Briar, bro. I'm going to be dodging her auto attacks. We'll have you casting in those still. I I think tank is where I want to live here. So with, I, may, I may even go like Jack Show or something, you know? Something that like spreads out my defenses. Because honestly, especially with the Fernal Conduit, there's a lot working. There's a lot working here. Like for instance, we don't actually like really have to go for like kill kill shot here. We just have to keep this like this this proking on him. There we go. Perfect. There we go. Just as long as we can keep the burn like ticking on him, and even if I'm not able to. Oh wait, what the heck? <laughs> I was wondering. <laughs> the Lulu has back to basics, so she does not have an ultimate ability, which is like real, real good for me. Let's go for Jack Show. I'm going to go tanky so I can keep burn ticking, if that's okay. 
sacrificed her sh ult for um stronger shields that's like like bad though right like that just seems oh my goodness me may have to back this up a little bit here Whoa, oh no. Oh no, it's on cooldown! Hold on, just keep the burn ticking. I like how I had that and it did not make any difference at all. Oh, so good, okay. That's, that's, that works, that works, that works. It's gonna be a difficult one because I don't think we're gonna be able to bring the Yumi down. I think he might have not accidentally clicked on that. But he's getting me up and I, I gotta give respect because he definitely did not need to do that. This might actually be a valuable pick here. You may still die. You still died to the burn. I can't. I, I failed to cancel my all attack. Just keep the burn. Just keep the burn on. I, I just need to live. There we go. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. The burn's ticking. It's going nice. How much damage have we done? We've done 1,400 damage early. It's early days. It's early days. After using a dash sweep, blink, or teleport, gain 12 magic resistant armor. I think that that is absolutely perfect for what we're trying to operate with with Jax. I think that that's going to stack up quite quickly and quite nicely. I can be the tank that I want to be. In fact, even maybe... Oh, we got Minion Mancer! Nice, nice, nice. It might even be worthwhile... I'm not saying, like, I don't know. I don't really quite know how armor and magic resistance work in the way that it's are diminishing returns. Like, if I'm... Am I wasting stats here? In any capacity. Okay, okay, we burn, we burn. We just we just we just keep this on you. We just keep this on you. And you're dead. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Our fights are actually not going on long enough where I'm too worried about uh you know, having uh having the burn stack where we're just we're just kind of just beating them down we did a thousand damage with it which is very 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 nice i think the thing i like about Jax, like the reason why i picked Jax, i wasn't like quite sure how to do a video on today um you know it's like i'm, I'm like christmas brain brain empty head empty no thoughts head empty etc but i was like you know what i don't have like a strategy or a, i don't have a, an augment specifically that i want to go for but i will pick a champion for instance like Yax, who has so many things that he can do man he can pick like literally anything i mean every i mean most of these augments i could go back to basic i could go eh, no i couldn't really go holy fire but that wouldn't be offered to me giant slayer could work scopier weapons would be great on him like you look at all these like abilities and you're like these all pretty much could work except for maybe like the healing ones because i don't really think that they, they benefit tremendously from them earthquake would be fine w bread and jam would work quantum computing even magic missile and a pinch if you had no other better option i'm gonna go q actually because i want to get some cooldown let's go for let's see another tanky game potentially honestly with like our grip it could be worth i mean we could even go like a missile but it could be worth going like an athletes we have like multiple teams we're in they have one person who's kind of in the carry position, one person who's support us. We got like Yumi and Kane, and we have uh, Kogma and Lulu. So if I just anathemas the Kogma, we, we get less swords, and we also, you know, are in a position where we can kick it a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Okay, we pop flash immediately there. This is fine, this is fine. All I gotta do is stay on him. And he will burn. There we go. Oh my goodness. Look at the minions. <laughs> Wait, where did Kongma die? Oh, he died down there. Oh no. I made a mistake. I made a huge mistake there. I think I can still win this though. Oh my god. We we won hard? Wait, where did where did Lulu go? Was that your minions? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Bro, even I don't see them doing damage until they're already dead. 
That's crazy. No. What do we want to work with here? What are we up against? These two. Do we want to go mixed damage here? I mean, we could go for like a lifeline item, potentially. Could go like sterics. I don't think there's like too much on the... Um, I don't think there's too much on the burst damage front that's actually going to scare me too much here. You might do a lot of burst damage a little later on. I think mostly I'm scared of you doing burst damage, but that's dependent on my max HP. And I think if I keep my max HP low, but my resistance is high, then that ends up being like vaguely beneficial in some capacity to me. Oh my goodness, that did a lot more damage than I thought it was going to do. Whew. I hate Pike. It's totally fine, man. Don't worry. <laughs> Let's go Willing Sacrifice. Let's go for this. I like I like my mouths on and I'd like to keep them alive. And since he's like kind of my carry... Oh, I did! I forgot to put the, the anathemas on! So silly. I don't actually know who does more damage in that. I think maybe like at this point. No, I don't know. You're level 14 casting. I don't know if I'm all that scared of you so far. Okay, I actually don't know who wins this. It could go either way. That's a very nice like W buffer there. I could. Uh, that mean this is not looking. Uh, it's looking better actually. He's not used ulti though. There we go. Finally comes down. If he, can, if he can isolate one of them here, he has a chance. There we go. Is he's isolated one of them. But now he needs to kind of just keep that. There we go. Okay. And that's him out. Okay. I think we can win this against these two. What I want to go, though, is like, a, it's, a, it's a tough one, though. Because I, I think I want to minimize. We got to we gotta try and minimize um, our HP. We don't have to minimize your HP, but it just means less damage taken, you know? Uh, let me think here. Let me think. We go like Thornmail or something. It does have a lot of like, bit of armor shred there, a little bit of like Leaf Alley. It's okay though, it's okay. If I can just, if I can live long enough to stack it five times. Then we're looking okay. Okay. This is going okay. I've got like willing sacrifice in the event of emergency here as well. <laughs> okay, I get my, my man back up here. Tough one. Oh, what the hell? Oh my god, Gwen actually finally did something for me there. Oh, dude, I did. Wait, it didn't see how much damage it did with Soul Cooker, actually. Hmm, how do we win this? <laughs> Let me think here. Let's get rid of this first of all. And if we get rid of that as well, we can also get a second item. Is it worth... Wait, how much, what's, your, what's your HP sitting at here? 4.9k. Could we sell you... No, we definitely couldn't because we don't have enough money for that. Um... Let me think here. Death Dance, maybe Blade of the Ring King. How's that? How's that sound? We 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 maybe lose a little bit of the tankiness here. Let's see, damage out total. That doesn't really give me any information. That only did two. The Earth Lake, I don't think scales that great. I don't think we have too much to be worried about in that regard. You know what I mean? Soraka Oli is very interesting as well. What did they get? Kindred? It's always Kindred Oli, man. Okay, that Q slow was very, very na not nice. I can keep him alive. It's not the greatest in, in the world, but...
Oh, dude, it's, it's too difficult, man. It's too difficult. That was a good game, go. Uh, good game, though. Nice try, man. Well played. Kane and Yumi, man. Disgusting. Disgusting. They're, they they were playing to win, for sure. That, they were just playing to win that game. <laughs> Let's jump into another one, though, for sure. Alrighty. We're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. Playing a little bit more jacks. What if, do I, do I want to, like, swap things up here? I'm quite happy, actually, with the, the Guardian's Blade. Although, honestly, it could go either way. Might be attack speed as well. We got Nocturne this time. <clears throat> what are we up against, though? Nunu Darius. Okay. Vagar... Ash and Ribbon Ash, double Ash, two Ashes. I don't know if that's like a champion that you see like all that regularly. I'm already mad as hell at this situation. Oh, hello there. We're gonna go for the Ash here, I think. Got to block that. Cancel it, and now we're in. Now we're in. Now it's you and me. Now it's you and me. You gonna take that? Are you gonna take the portal? You are. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna head back up here now. Boom, boom, knock him out. Flash, smack him. One more. Oh, okay. And you're bent. Now we just have to deal with you. Ooh, just enough damage, and my man lives as well. Perfect, perfect, perfect. We pop flash, but I, at the end of the day, I am like Jack, so it's fine. Spin to win. Now, I've never really taken this before, um, but there there is, like, ashes on the enemy team. So, like, 30% extra damage, and then with all the auto attacks that do come into me, theoretically, we do, like, a bunch more. I don't know. I think, like, that would probably be the correct answer, but I feel like I've never taken spin to win before, so why not? It's still a pretty solidly decent cooldown. I would bet 13, almost 14 seconds is not ideal, but hey. Forget about it, okay? Actually, you know what? There's a lot of people that we even got like auto resets in this on these squads. This could work. This could work. I'm I'm already like severely regretting my my angle here. I I dumped it straight in, and now I'm like, okay, this is this is bad news bears. Th these two are actual just two juggernaut. Like I don't know about juggernauts, but we got we we need a little bit more sauce. I think Darius is like too powerful right now. And also like we can't burst Nunu, he's just got, he'll queue up to full HP. Although whenever I play Nunu, I'm never able to queue up to full HP, but I think that one, that that team is gonna be a squad that we have to maybe, I don't know, try and avoid for a little bit, cause it's gonna be tough until we get some items under our belt. And then we can probably just collapse on Darius and make it happen. That is one dead ash. All right. Get a rally, get another point W. And then it's kind of annoying because I do want to get something that gives me some preventative measures for Nunu and Vagar. But there's just too much AD floating around. Type vibe armor. Producing damage from auto attacks. Especially like considering Ash Q auto attacks are already weaker. She's just gonna be hopefully tickling me which is totally okay fine by me that's a, not the greatest that we have ever seen but honestly we respect her although i know i shouldn't be hitting the 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 ribbon here but it just felt right man okay so we'll get our guy up here and that, that'll be hopefully fine. Oh, what am I doing? I made a mistake. Oh my gosh, she has all the way up. Okay, I just got a game point. I, my bad. <laughs> I don't think she know. I, just, I don't know why I pressed it. I don't know why I pressed it. I pressed it like a fool. She had all the way up again, huh? Hmm. We got to light him up. What, what did you get, actually? Bunt Force? That's pretty good. Contract Killer. They got, there's some good um, augments coming out here. The Nunu Darius team, ironically, has probably got some of the weaker augments I'm seeing on this, but it doesn't mean it can't work, because their, their champions are probably going to be doing a lot of the, the heavy lifting for the most part here. 
Okay, so let me think here. What do we want to go? I think like with with the, with the amount of teams that are kind of squishy, maybe we go for Trinity Force. I don't know. There's not. There are people that can stack HP. Like you're gonna get some uh, a decent amount of HP items. You're gonna get some HP items, but beyond that, we're looking at 80 carries, AP carries, and like a ribbon who went Ken Punk Chainsaw to the first item. Maybe they, they're doing that specifically to target uh, Nunu Darius, considering they, they do have a lot of healing that comes off of that, but I don't know. I mean, here's the thing. You're Nocturne, so you're, I'm definitely not going to be the one that engages this. Okay, we, we trade one for one on that. Why is he so tanky? This is crazy, dude. <laughs> that took me that took me off guard a little bit there. Okay, you're like in the soup here for sure. Boom! We made it happen. <laughs> that was like incredibly awkward. Um Tempting, 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 tempting. Hold on, let me just quickly look up uh, Jax here. On, like, I, I, I want to know if people will actually have success with the uh, raid boss here. I just want to see. Okay, would, would look like maybe not, okay? However, Mystic Punch, people do have success with. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry, I'm, I metagamed it there. I'm just looking at, like, a Vagar on the enemy team. I'm looking at, like, Ash, people that can output, like, a decent amount of damage early on. And I'm thinking, <laughs> Ultimate Revolution. Not really all that great, I'd imagine. What do you have here? Giant Slayer, Omni Soul. Okay, so Raid Boss would have been, I think, bad if I operated with that. Ooh, it's a closey. I think I'm outputting like a really solid amount of damage here. Especially if I can get my cooldown. If maybe if like we get a gold augment or something. And we can get Counter Strike to like a really I mean that that's gonna be huge. I think I don't know, is it called bread and cheese? Bread and butter, bread and jam. It might be called bread or jam. I don't know which one it is. Ooh. A Jan will be pushing them into the zone. Interesting. We gotta get that cooldown war though. 10 seconds. That's that's okay. Maybe even like Shojin early. <laughs> yeah. So we got 8.6 seconds on that. With Mystic Punch. So if we're like diving in, we cancel that. I mean we can get it down. We can we can have we can have a pretty solid amount of uptime on it. Obviously, it's not like perfect because it doesn't go on coding when you start channeling it. But hey. um, I think we, I think we have to go him first. I think that's like, oh no. I pike you're ruining my life, man. How is he doing so much damage, man? Accelerating sorcery? Is it just like the fact that he's pressing Q a bunch? I don't know, man. It took like 2k damage. Like 1.4k almost from just him biting. Why are these teams so hard? I don't know, man. I guess it's maybe like partially. I think maybe Nocturne obviously being like a kind of all or nothing guy. A lot of augments or a lot of like resources in this game that make it so when he dives in it, he's not able to do as much as maybe he would want to do i think still let's go death dance provide us with a little bit of attack damage ability haste and armor and also like the ignore pain as well which is fantastic 
Especially against like uh, more 80 damage than not 80 damage. Haven't really figured out what I'm going to do with this individual. Or Nunu, apparently. The guy, the guy had like, oh, uh, you know what? Maybe I was beating myself down with Thormil. That could be possible. <laughs> I don't know. Why do I always get the Boron always? It's always Azir or Soraka. Like literally nothing else, man. It's so crazy, dude. Jeez, oh man. Well, I had fun not moving. That's for sure. Oh, they got they teleported me in. Well, they teleported to me, broke vision, and then I got what like I mean two and a half sec two and a half seconds of CC almost three seconds. Eesh, 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 eesh. You gotta play for this. Oh, I just have to hope you don't have like all we up again. Okay, I think I, I think I just try and fight her as best I can. Okay, okay, we want to ride. We want to ride. We're looking good. We're looking better. We're looking better. Whew. That was insanely brutal, that fight, though. But I, I don't want men. Give credit where credit is due. My Nocturne did kill it in the game there. This might be, like, genuinely like necessary honestly there could be better things that we take here but uh, you know what we'll reroll it once we'll see what we can get ability haste pretty good five seconds on counter strike i think outlaw's grip probably would have been better if i combine that with like maybe like a uh thorn meal or something i don't know but regardless this is not the last round i think we only take so yeah, we only take six damage. We got at least one more free fight left at us. If we survive this one, then we still only got one more fight free fight left at us. This is this is it, whether we like it or not. I'd, I would reckon. Oh no! I can't move. Oh my god, man. What does she have? Mad scientist? She had ulti up again? Or did she just not use it? Also, this is insane, man. Ability haste equal to 25%. Gets 335 base ability haste. I got, like, caged twice. I was locked in the damn mines, man. <laughs> okay. We gotta do more damage somehow. But, like, what is it gonna be that's gonna make us do that damage? We're fighting for, well, we're not fighting for second here. We're fighting to go out or, I don't know, maybe we get a free fight. What can I do to get this? Let's, you know what, let's go Stairs Cage. Let's go for something that's gonna give us some bruiser, some bruiser sauce here. Thormia would go hard, but I don't know if it's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> What's crazy is even if we both dive on Ash, we don't seem to be able to pick her up here. So, like, she's definitely gonna go this. Or is she? And her W does, like, 200 damage to me, which is a lot more than I would want it to do. That's fine, that's fine. Okay. Now we just commit to this. I'm, I'm out of mana, bro. I'm, I'm totally... I'm gubbed for mana here. <laughs> I'm absolutely gubbed for mana. How do we win this, man? <laughs> oh, wait, hold on. This could be huge. This could be huge. If he can, if he can last long enough to get me up. Oh my god, we can win this, we can win this, we can win this. He just has to live, like, a little bit longer. And I'm up. Oh, huge! Huge! 
and we don't have to fight. <laughs> Let's go. Well played. Insane. I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on buying. I think. I think like there's no point. And um. And spending any money here because we we don't know if we're gonna be up against like double ad or double ap i'm really hoping that these guys win if they win they've both got they've got both a banshee's veil and also an edge knight if these guys win we come second and that's like two second places in a row and guess what i can live with that but at the same time you know i don't know it's crazy that there's two ashes and they're both in like potentially top two Also, that she just takes no damage. Ah, oh, Hellfire Hatch. I mean, she's like full tank here. She's in a full tank situation. Okay, you're absolutely deleted. Okay, there's just no way. Ash is absolutely dipped. Completely sold out her teammate. Although, she's trapped. She can't get out. Dude, look at how little damage that really does. Oh no, Gwen is like not playing nice here. Gwen is not playing nice. Oh my god, they actually might come bring it bring it back. They might bring it back. Oh no, that means we have to beat them. Oh jeez. There's no way she has that. Yep, they, they just win. It's free. Oh no! <laughs> That's the worst. Possible outcomes that could have possibly ever happened, man. <sighs> Game movement speed equal to 1.5 times your ability haste. I can live. With, I can. I think I can live with that. Okay, and then we sell these. No. Yes. Do I want to juice? I should juice. Even if I don't think it's right, we should juice. <sighs> Issue is, like, there's not really a good target here, is there? Definitely out here for sure. Okay, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta leave this one to you, man. I think you can do this though. Yes! My G! <sighs> okay, now that we've done that, we bend this, and we bend this. We go Guardian Angel and then we figure out. I think maybe like I think we actually go like Thorn Mail or something crazy. We're not gonna be able to juice up for this one though, which is unfortunate. But get out of this group. <laughs> God, I can't believe we're a top dude. We could even win. We could even win. Let's not be. Let's not put ourselves down here. It's possible. He went for Hatchet. We both have GA and they're both up, okay? Do they have GA? They neither of them have GA. So we got four lives, they got two. Or something, man. <laughs> That's fine. Oh, we won! <laughs> yes, dude. Well played. Oh, but I 
my god. I did not think that that was going to come out the way that I wanted it to there. That's exceptional. That's exceptional. My, my, you know what, man? I was like, I don't know if like Nocturne is cooking here because, you know, there's so many like things that just mean that like when Nocturne gets in, he can't necessarily get rid of the target that he's after. He pr sure proved me wrong. He proved me wrong. He was very on par with damage with me and definitely clutched up so many rounds, man. Well played. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all tomorrow. Same time, same place. Um, yeah, let me know if there's any underground 2v2v2v2 2v2 2v2 builds or anything that you found. We haven't got too much long left of this, but we're going to enjoy it while we still have it. And then we'll move straight on to season 14, where we're going to be doing even more silly things for the rest of the year. Have a great one. Take care. I'll see you.